Hey, it's JC1424 once again with NASCAR Heat Ultimate Edition. Switzerland. And in this episode of our season, as Ryan Blaney and his number 12 Menards Ford were going to Chicagoland Speedway for the Camping World 400. It's supposed to be Nashville Super Speedway. But that's not in this game, so I feel like this is the best way to replace it, because we all miss Chicagoland, not Kentucky, even though Kentucky races better in this game for some reason. But last episode, Race at Texas, finished sixth. We did so well there in trucks and Xfinity, I thought I was going to win. And so we just, we just kind of ran sixth, fifth, all race long. And also last weekend, we had a very terrifying experience at Sonoma. That was very rough, not good stuff, but... I think we spent that weekend just losing points to Truex, and he's getting back to us. But he is still over two races behind us in the standings. Oh my goodness. I got me some water to stay hydrated. So yeah, it's Chicagoland. How is the the setup thing already in? Maybe I went here without driving aids during the multiplayer with my friend Cade. But I don't feel like that makes any sense either because the driving assists were still on whenever I went to record after that. Dude, I don't know what the heck is going on. I have some news to reveal about my living space at the moment. So, you all know roaches. You know, they exist. And I've got all these little black capsules that they like go to and like bait and they eat it and they bring it to their other roach family and then they all just drop dead. So I'll just see random dead roaches here and there and have to sweep them up. Interesting, whenever I see a dead roach and I'm like, you know what, I'll pick that up tomorrow whenever it's done twitching or whatever the heck and it's actually dead. And the next day without picking it up, it's already gone. What could possibly be going on? I'm hearing noises in the ceiling now. Who knows? Also, Truex is starting the pole, and I don't feel like we're going to run that well in this race. We're starting the middle of the field. I probably could have qualified better if I was actually focused on the qualifying. Hmm. But, uh, no. <sighs> so, got some mice to kill, I guess. It's like, the roaches, they just drop dead. And I, I hate roaches as it is. So it's nice that they're dead. Every now and then I gotta spray one because it's not dead yet. And it comes out to eat something and we well, ain't got anything to eat. There was less ways for them to find their way into the house. The same thing with freaking mice. But like, they find their way in and then they die. The mice, well, all I have is roach bait. I ain't got any mice shit done yet. It's interesting, I didn't deal with mice at all last winter. Hmm. Worst part about spraying the house, you know, setting a can down to spray away roaches or, or or maybe mice or anything like that, is that you have to clean everything afterwards. You gotta wipe everything down. You have to clean all the freaking dishes again or whatever because odds are that's contaminated. And, oh my God, Benedetto, hold your dick. He did not hold his dick. He slapped it across everyone's face. And there's a caution. So we're going to try this again. Oh my god, we just skipped four laps of the race. I suppose we did just run the first lap, though. I don't feel like I got anything out of that. I mean, I started 20th. I'm still 20th. No, there's not a car on the inside. There, there should not be a car on the inside. I am dropping to that line to, to be in that line. This is not racing at all like Nashville Super Speedway. I mean... We got off throttle time, or at least I do. Maybe my car's tight, and theirs are capable of doing it full throttle. I remember, I remember the first time I raced Chicagoland in NASCAR Heat 4, and I saw them AI just going full throttle, and it, it really was the 550 horsepower package. I am working my way through this field, trying to get some track position for the next stages. God knows I'm not getting anything out of this one. I never mentioned at any point since I started doing this race that I am very much overworking myself to get like a video out every day but I'm not even trying to get them out every day it's just certain videos one out every week and then I wind up not putting anything out for like two days and then suddenly 
I, none of the videos were coming out. So here we are in 15th. I didn't go to sleep yesterday until like 5 p.m. Whenever I work overnight, obviously. But then I woke up at 7 p.m. and I'm like, dude, that's two hours of sleep after being awake for the past 20 hours. So yeah, I'm exhausted. Truex start on pole, then Hamlin was leading, and now William Byron's leading this race. I'm getting there. I think I'm fast enough to maybe finish like eighth or something from this gap that I'm closing up on all these guys. But it's just gonna take forever. And it sucks that it gets chopped up by the stages, but that's NASCAR. I could turn them off, but I like to try winning Ryan Blaney a championship in the format that he has been racing. Not take that away. Let's see, we're gonna be able to catch McDowell, Bell, Bowman, Logano, and Larson, I believe. They're pitting. Oh, well, you don't have to do whatever that is. What? I didn't do that. Oh, Harvick blew up in front of them, and then that happened. Yeah, there's a caution. I didn't damage the car, but, dude, I did not know what to do. I slammed the brakes. I cocked it right, then back to the left, and... So, we're going to get four tires, and... 1.5 cans of fuel to fill it up. We went in 10th, we came out 10th. And you got a bunch of switcheroonies back there behind us with the positions. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm tired. This is not healthy. I am glad that I got Camtasia back and running like over a week ago now. And I can do all my crazy wacky edits and change the lighting. I'm sorry, dude. Like, I fucking hit the apron, and then I'm not allowed to do anything except hit you at that point. He's fine. He let off. Elliot's considering working with me right now. Bowman, what are you doing? Oh, you got sucker hold in the middle. Two laps to go right here. Yeah, what he said. Stop copying me, you dunce head. I'm trying to hold the inside. There we go. There's the push that I needed. He's pushing me up the track, but I mean, he's pushing me, so... You, you go, girl. I mean, he's not a girl, but his car is purple. Close enough. Don't judge. Don't don't judge. This this is the generation of not judge. Not judge generation. That's that's hard to say. I'm so fucking tired. <laughs> uh, okay, last lap of the stage. Look at these clouds. Those are nice clouds. I'm so tired. How? Man, man, that's some bullshit. That, that, fuck that, fuck you. Cause like, he went all the way down to the bottom of the track and I did the block and then he just shoved me out of the way because freaking Chase Elliott and his dumb racing ethics and whatever. Yeah, I mean, no, no, no tires, just like half a can of fuel, I guess. Now I'm first. Well, the best possible opportunity to get stage points. Uh, you know, the worst part is that, like, one of the ceiling tiles, if y'all have seen the ceiling tiles in one of the videos at some point. Oh my god, Keselowski, look at him go. Yeah, you know, what I was going to say was that, like, them freaking ceiling tiles, like, they have one that just hangs right over my freaking TV and computer, because you could just never be screwed in right. So, look at that goddamn mouse from the ceiling, crawls out of it and then eventually it's too much weight on the ceiling tile, then it falls and lands on my TV and my computer. That's that's not good. We're staying in contention. But man, this is all I got. This is why I said like we got that seventh or eighth place speed, but not this stuff. Kyle Bush just wrecked me because he's an asshole. That's what you get. Don't fuck wide. Look, you wrecked everybody else being stupid like that. So many of these tracks do not work with the AI program to uh, do bump drafting and team up with you because the package sucks. You got this package where the cars have no horsepower, so they just push you up the track in this full throttle track, and this car will not stop turning too much and overdoing everything and hitting the apron, and all my momentum is gone, so I have to have this awful restart. 
Uh, I got a slower car than Kyle Busch after he just get pulverized. Tyler Reddick has also got lots of damage because of that. I swear there were like four cars involved in that wreck. We're almost halfway through the stage already. Okay, so we're clear, low. We're out of stage point territory now. Martin Trek Sr. is leading. So yeah, he's going to finally gain a bunch of points on us in these past few races. Come on. I can't even pass one guy. Like, by just going full throttle and angling the corners properly, I, I can't just pass one guy. Yeah, just let off. Right down next to the white line. Slide up. Yeah, don't just sit down there. Slide up. There, now he's gonna push us. Pushy, push, and push, push. Yeah. Good, good thing. Now we're getting back into it. We're in a rhythm. Having those awful Jeff Gordon restarts right there where, like, I automatically lose freaking five damn spots. Spend the whole run trying to get them back. Ugh, I hate trying to angle these corners perfectly. You just steer hard left with hardly getting out of the throttle. It's a pain. And I was so good at it in NASCAR Heat 3. Ah. Uh, Chicago Land and NASCAR Heat 3. Hmm, core league memories. Mm hmm. I was the fastest guy in some Chicago Land race in the core league. And I was going to win that on speed. And then I sped into pit road. <laughs> and then I got absolutely totaled by a freaking what incarnation and IDK player both being stupid. Them young children being stupid and they made me lose my race more than I already was going to. Oh. I wasn't going to win, but I'd maybe still get top five, but then that check kept happening. But at least I went on to win Talladega. But you, I could have won two races in that core league season. And then never get to race again. Now they're on iRacing. Fuck iRacing. The lead is garbage. I've got to work the whole damn track to set things up properly, and then they're sitting in the way like Larson is right here. I bounce off the apron or some shit. And it, it can't just go smoothly. You can't ride the apron or something like that. The car doesn't just give right there. It bounces way off of it. Um, resetting, trying it again. Yeah, it's just visual damage. It is not physical damage for the AI. They have mechanical failures and you know blow tires and shit, but as far as the actual aerodynamics, well, they ain't affected worth of shit. At least we're running good. Running good is good. That's all we really have to do to get this regular season championship at this point is run 7th for the next 9 races or whatever it is. My tires are getting worn. You got people pitting. Why are you... You can't. That's not legal. They don't get penalized for doing this shit, by the way. The player does, but I know they don't. Hamlin and Keselowski. That doesn't make sense... At all. Oh, no. Look, look, Denny Hamlin and Keselowski or whatever. They did not restart in front of us. Well, that, that's cool. It's nice that that they they have to follow the same rules, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what the heck they do that for. That's just dumb. It's dumb strategy. Don't work. No reason for that. Just go ahead and pit under the stage. They threw away their stage points. And I'm giving Logano shoves. I'm trying to hang on... With this lead pack. Oh my god, Larson. Why, Larson? Now, Logano's gonna wreck his shit again. Oh! <laughs> okay, he's, he's good. So, we're fourth. Stop passing me! Let's just freaking get in a rhythm. Like, they don't want to get in rhythm. So, I'll pass all early on. And then I gotta make all those moves back up again. We got McDowell running top five. Oh, hey, Kozlowski. Dude, this is weird. Like, I think I'm making a cut, and then random drafting buddy occurs. No, I'm going to go down here so I can perfect the corner. I'm using the high line at Chicagoland. Is that a thing? I didn't think it was a thing. 
How the hell did these guys get here, though? Like, they just threw away so much track position, and now they're just suddenly here. It ain't no making sense to me. Well, we're here, and we're getting pushes, and... Oh, fuck you. Annoying. That's like the fourth damn time he's gotten on my nerves. And we're just sitting behind these fast dudes, hanging with them, waiting to make a really quick move. Kyle Bush is annoying. Trying to make a crossover or just set up the corner properly to lose the least amount of time possible. Keep the momentum going. Just momentum based racing, not just driving good and avoiding dirty air. I mean, sh there is no dirty air here, it's all just momentum. I just passed Kyle Larson. What the fuck? I don't know I could do that. <laughs> this shows my self esteem at this point. And then a caution. After I put my car on the wall and then don't stop because I'm stupid. I, it's like, you, you want to stay next to it? Stay in the draft just a little bit. And then you just go stupid. Full stupid. Just go ahead and fix this freaking damage that I cannot even see. And we need 1.5 cans to fill it up. I lost seven spots. This is still better than where we started. We got ourselves right. some stage Coming points. I got stage points in the first stage, right? I don't even remember. That one was kind of wacky, then it was boring, but we were slowly moving forward. In the second one, we spent a lot of time just running like seventh or whatever. But now, we got a big checkup right here. Is that Justin Haley? It was Justin Haley, Josh Balicki, Brendan Gone, Cody Ware. Ryan Priest, what? So this is why we're losing positions, because of these guys. They, they just don't get tires, and they wait for another caution. I mean, I don't feel like it makes a difference any other way, because we don't have to pit again. And I figured that they do, because they didn't. This is so weird. There's Eric Jones, Armor All Car, running third. Y'all suck at pushing. And this game sucks at having a mirror. <laughs> Kyle Busch is the only guy that's not been stunted by this situation. I'm trying to get Keselowski to work with him. But he's sucking at pushing. Where's Chastain? Well, at least that's realistic for this Nashville Super Speedway race. That's not at Nashville Super Speedway. Got Ross Chastain running second. Now look at Keselowski go. We got 12 to go. Out. I think we can make it to the end. I think we just went four laps and 16 on fuel, so you know that adds up to 16. We will just have to wait and see. I'm getting pushed around, pushed into guys. Kyle Busch is slow as shit right now. I mean, he got damage, but they ain't ever affected by damage. They'll fix it, but it doesn't matter. I just got pushed into the wall by Truex. Hamlin saved that, and I now, I have damage. I, I got damage from that. Okay. So, I'm, I'm trying to lap some cars, but they are blocking the racetrack. William Byron is in the way. I, I can't even dump William Byron for pissing me off and getting in the way of passing this fucking lap car. God. This is for position. But no, this is getting the, the way of the lead lap cars. Yeah, just get in their way. God, this is like actual 2018 Chicagoland race. Like Kyle Busch is annoying, and freaking lap cars are taking up the whole track. But I guess this is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles shit because Truex is winning right now. We should be coming to two to go up here. I'm clear? Sick. Yeah, we are low on fuel. Oh, no. Am I leaving all this in? I better not throw a freaking caution and ruin like the, the dramatic events that are happening in this race. I'm battling this guy. I've run out of gas. Ugh. Ugh. Fuck you. He's going to pit. 
Is he in front of me or is he behind me? Dude, I don't know. No, no, he, he, he is not pitting. He is staying out. Oh, boy. Last lap and I am about to run out. Wait, I'm leading. This is the battle for the lead. Shit, what the fuck? What? I can't clear him. Come on. Fuck. Can't pull ahead of him. I gotta clear this guy before I run out of fuel. Or I could just run out of fuel. Oh my god, I just fucking lost control of the car because of that. He's in the wall. He's trying to pit. He can't pit because I'm in the fucking way. We're both out of gas. What? No! <laughs> what the... <laughs> what did I just witness? I'm too tired for this shit. I've never... I've never in one of these fucking games. I've never had a finish like that. What? Uh. <laughs> so William Byron won one of the stages as well as taking the win. Michael McDowell does get a top five. And Truex, yeah, he won a stage in there and I'm pretty sure he got more stage points than us. I don't know if he gains or I gain here. But that hardly is going to change anything as far as I'm concerned. And I guess here's the rest of the results. All the wacky, weird drivers that were up front at that final restart, they wind up falling to the back. A bunch of guys a lap down because of these weird pit stops. doo de doo de doo And Ryan Newman is the only DNF, I suppose. And they're going to show us the standings right here. Which is that. That is the standings. The math. I am... I'm working on it. We now have a 130. 23 point lead over Truex. I don't know what we had going into that race, but yeah, nothing's changing. Like I said, that is still over a two race lead, uh, mathematically, because I think 118 points is the most that I could ever lose in two races, because you have to start every race in these games. But of course, finishing last is always a possibility. Next up is Pocono. The double header. We're going to do both Pocono races in one video. Because there's no reason to have two freaking videos of races that happen back and back the same track. And that will be our final chance to win at Pocono on a NASCAR Heat game in one of these championship mode Let's Plays. See you next time. That's that. And episode over.